hate they're good looking to join me for this fiery total body workout. This is an all levels workout. And if you're doing this on over 50 fitness, this is day one of our muscle hustle challenge. Now for this workout, I recommend a pair of moderate weight dumbbells as well as what you consider are heavy dumbbells. For reference, I have a pair of 15s and a pair of 20s. And for this workout, I've also um, opted to go with bare feet. So if that interests you, hey, take your shoes and socks off and join me. All right, let's go get warmed up. All right, before we get busy, if you have a fitness watch on, you might want to turn that on. I recommend the hit setting. All right, let's warm up. Let's just drive one knee in towards the chest and then the other. Lifting up to the upper body while we drive that knee up. Good. Finding that balance, stabilizing. Hope you're having a great day. You're gonna feel so good after this workout. We start with a ladder, which we're gonna do reps as opposed to time, and then we'll move into a strength circuit, which will be timed. One more each side. Last leg. Excellent. Now I want you to lunge back for me, and then bring the knee up and ho hover and hold. Do that same side again. So now we're working that balance further. Here's the side view, same leg. Step it back, back knee coming down to the ground for my advanced people. Those of you with sensitive knees, just taking it as low as it feels good for that knee joint. Find something stationary to stare at for that balance. Good, last two. One more. And feet under hips, let's do the other side. Here we go, so where do we start? We start with knee to chest. Now step it back, feet hip width apart, they land hip width apart. So it's like you're lunging on two railroad tracks as opposed to stepping behind this leg here. Let's go to the side so you can see, here we go. Chest is lifted, find that balance. Four more. Again, that knee's coming down, down to that ground if you're able to. However, sometimes knees can get a little sensitive, a little um, <laughs> too sensitive with the lunges. So I want you to take it again, that range that works for you. Let's do one more here. Excellent, all right. Now let's take the hands, place the palms together, and I want you to just open them up so the back of the hands touch and then close. So just gonna warm up into the wrists a little bit because we are doing some push-ups in the first part of our drill. If push-ups aren't your jam though, there will be an alternative screen up here with a chest press with dumbbells. So I'm just kind of trying to make circles with my hands. And you know what, if you're kind of like, PJ, I have no idea what you're doing, <laughs> just kind of rotate through the wrists so that the back of the hands touch at one rep and then the palms touch on the second rep. Last two. Last one, excellent. Now bring the thumbs away, open up the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades, open. Good, now let's alternate which arm comes on top each time. Let's wake up the back muscles here, wake up the shoulders, open up that front of the body. Abs are pulled in, so that means the belly button's drawn in. You're tightening that core, knees are soft. Good job, let's do four more here. And three. Now we're gonna take this, leading with the thumbs on a diagonal like you're making a letter X. We come back and meet at the center. One thumb going back behind you by the hip, the other thumb going up and above the shoulder. Again, leading with those thumbs, please. Here we go, let's go four. And three, and two, one. Fingers light behind the ears, push the booty back, come forward for a good morning, drive up again. When we do this, we have that hip hinge. We are hinging from the hip crease here, not from the waistband. Learning this hip hinge for the deadlifts that we'll be doing in our first part with our ladder drill. Good. As I come forward, I'm gonna bend my knees a bit. Last four, and then we're gonna hold it down, okay? Three, Two, now let's take it down here. Release the arms and left arm reaches up, look up and over. Right arm reaches up and over, beautiful. Breathe. Four more. 
Last one. Excellent. Take the feet wide for me. Let's stay low into a lunge and just shift it side to side. Our seat is being pushed rearward. Our knees are tracking with the second toe. So that's kind of cool if you are in bare feet. You can actually really take a look at where that knee joint of yours is tracking. Now we're going to stay low so we get some fire in those thighs. Excellent. Ten more seconds here. Three, two, one, shake it out. All right, grab a quick sip of water. We're gonna start out with the ladder. So we've got 10 reps of three moves, then eight, then six, then four. The second move will be that push up, at which if you're not interested in doing that, you'll do a chest press with mini me up there. We will require both the moderate and the heavier set of dumbbells. So set up the heavy near the top of your mat for the third move, and then just grab one of the moderate weight. We have 10 dumbbell snatches. We're gonna alternate the arm. Each arm is one rep. A snatch, if you're unfamiliar with that is, we're gonna take it and start it with the on the ground. Drive up through the heel, snap it, with the hips, come down, there's one. Drive up, there's two. All right, now if coming all the way down to the ground is not available to you, you'll come here and then switch arms here. Got it? Now I'd like you to move with me. So I want you to take, keep my rhythm. So if you don't get the full reps in, don't worry about it, deal? Awesome. Me or me. We're on this hand. We've got 10 reps, alternating hands. Three, two, one. Here we go. Here's one. Good. Now keep the chest up, head up. Two. Good. Three. So it's like you're zipping up a hoodie here. Four. So it's not a pulling to the shoulder. Five and then doing a shoulder press. Six. Again, if you seven want, you can come to here, right? Eight, that's gonna help you out a bit. Nine, one more. 10, take it down. All right, hand release push up or chest press with mini me. If you're doing chest press, I want you to use your heavies, one in each hand. Those of you have with bleh, bleh, those of you with me, easy for me to say, we are in a high plank. You can be on the knees to modify. Ready? Chest to ground all the way. Go one. Now lift the hands up, good. Now you can press up, staying on the knees, and then come off the knees and lower down for two. Two, four, advanced people, keep that long plank, three, and push yourself up. Four, press. When we come down, the elbows are kind of pointed at the back of your mat, five. Take a gaze at the top of your mat, six. Here's seven. Eight, nine, one more. All right, standing position. We have a deadlift to row. Take those heavy dumbbells of yours, just like we learned in warm up. Let's do one deadlift. When we stay in that deadlift, now do a row. Drive up out of the deadlift. Good. Here we go. Rep number two hip hinge. Row, drive the elbows up, squeeze the shoulder blades, drive through the heels and lift all the way. Three, abs tight. Four, we have 10 reps. Five, six, working hamstrings, glutes, lats, mid back, rear delt. So the entire posterior chain of your body. Two more, breathe, one more, breathe, and dumbbells down side of your mat. From the top, eight reps now, alternating snatch. You either have the dumbbell resting on the ground or resting in between the calves or knees. Ready? Let's go, eight, other hand, seven, Six, now let's keep that head up and chest up. Two more. One more. Dumbbell down. 
Hand release push-up or chest press. We have eight. From the knees or toes, fingers spread. Let's go, chest to ground. One, lift the hands up, press up. Two, breathe out as we press up. Three, four, five, six, last two. One more. Beautiful. Heavy dumbbells, deadlift to row. Where's our setup? Feet shoulder width. Draw the belly button in, shrug the shoulders back and down, pull the shoulder blades together. Dumbbells close to the body. Let's do the deadlift. Now row, breathe. Drive up. Two. Don't lose that neutral spine. Three. Four. Five. Six. Last two. One more. Whew. Dumbbells down. Can you hold off from doing a water break? We're almost done. We got six reps. Dumbbell in between the feet or in between the calves or knees. Ready? Three, two, one, go. One, two, three. Sit yourself down to get that dumbbell. Four. Again, it's like you're zipping something up. Five. Last one, six. Beautiful. Hand release push-up or chest press. Let's get in plank, knees or toes. Go. One. Two. Hold that plank. Three. Four. Five. Six. And into stand. Deadlift row. Use your legs to get those dumbbells. Feet shoulder width apart. Pull the shoulders back and down. Draw the belly button in. Let's do it, gang. Here we go. One. Breathe. Two. Three. Four. Five. One more. Dumbbells down, final round, four reps. Here we go, dumbbell in between the feet. Feet are shoulder width or wider, toes are slightly turned out. Here we go, four, ready? Let's go up, four, snatch it. Three, head up, chest up. Two, one more, one more. One, beautiful, hand release, push up. Push up from the knees or the toes or chest press with the heavies. Three, two, one, let's go. Four, pull the hands up. Three, breathe out, press up. Two. One more. Beautiful. All right, final one, we get a water break. Grab the heavy. Deadlift to row, feet shoulder width. Draw the belly button in, shrug the shoulders back and down. Settle those shoulder blades right there. And here we go, four. Breathe. Three. Good. Two. One more. One. Ah, good job. Dumbbells down. Woo. All right. In about 40 seconds, I'm going to push the clock here. We're going to get busy with that strength circuit. Grab a quick sip of water. For most of the moves, you can use one dumbbell. And then you can add another one for the squat and press if you'd like. Now, as we progress through the rounds, I'm gonna layer on. So we'll start with the base move and then I'll layer on as we go. So all that means is if you wanna intensify it, I'm gonna show you ways to do it. We have four moves, four exercises, 45 seconds of work. I'd love for you to mirror me. Get on this side of your mat and then hold on to the dumbbell with that hand. Now give me a side lunge. So step out wide, seat goes rear. Now drive up, pull. Good. Side lunge, drive up, pull. 
So when we pull, we've got that rear deltoid, mid back muscle, lats working. When we do the side lunge, we've got a lot of work here on this leg. We're just gonna tap the toe here beside this foot here. Find our balance. We want to keep toes, knees, hips, shoulders to me, please. Nice. I said, please, so you got to do it. <laughs> 10 more seconds. This workout is supposed to generate high calorie burn. So we got to keep that heart rate up. Time. All right, same as the other side now. Same as what we did there, other arm. So we need to get the other side of the mat. Now I want your feet hip width. Everything squared to me. Now let's start with a side lunge. Three, two, one, go. Dumbbell down, if you can touch the ground, awesome. Now I'm touching that ground by bending this leg. Okay, not my back. Nice. Only 15 second rest in between the moves. So again, we keep that heart rate up. So you get a well-rounded workout today. Strength and cardio. You're welcome. Good. Breathe it out. Drive it up. Nice. Beautiful. One more. One more. Woo. All right. Making sure that you do have a heavy dumbbell. Okay, I want you to hold at the chest. We have a squat to shoulder press. If you're strong on your press, dumbbell in each hand. Let's do the squat first. Can we get elbows to thighs and then drive up, press up? <sighs> elbows to thighs, push. Good, now when we do the squat, we want a lot of the weight in the heels. So when we get down here, I want you to just wiggle your toes. Okay, if you can wiggle your toes, then you're in a good position for your squat. Now we want the bum shooting rear. And then when we drive up, we push through those heels, explode up. Let the legs help us press that dumbbell up. Ten more seconds. All right. Let's get that dumbbell on the outside of your left side of your mat. Now have it behind the left wrist. We can go on the knees if we need to. Otherwise, you're off of the knees in a high plank. Take the right arm, take the dumbbell up, place it to the right side of your mat, lower. So we've got single arm drill here by having to weight bear on that one arm. We've got the core fired up. Pecs, shoulders. Again, on the knees if that's gonna be, this is too much. I want you to maintain that form, keeping the hips fairly low, eyes at the top of your mat, breathing. Those of you that are in over 50 fitness, you did your fitness assessment. We know what we need to work, right? So this is gonna help us right here with that plank, that core stability drill you did to see where you are at. One more. Excellent. No problem, gang. Round two, me or me. We're on this side of the mat. This hand has the dumbbell. Now I'm gonna add on a little bit, okay? But let's still stay with that side lunge to pull up. Three, two, one, side lunge, pull up, stay here, bicep curl. Side lunge, pull up, stay here, bicep curl, yeah. So if that bicep curl isn't gonna work for you because of the weight that you're using, don't worry about it. Just go into that side lunge right away. Whoop, <laughs> I forgot the pull up. Here we go, side lunge, pull. Good, curl. Side lunge, pull. Abs tight, good. Where do we want? Feet, knees, hips, and shoulders. To me, yeah. One more, one more, come on, finish it. Pull it, finish the curl. Yes, there's a good pump in the arm there. Whew, shake out that arm. We got the other side. We start with feet hip width and then everything squared to me. Let's take it out. Good, do the pull. Lower, 
Hammer curl. Yeah, it's hammer time. <laughs> Remember him? MC Hammer. High pull. Slow it down. Curl it. Good. Step it. High pull. Good. When we do that high pull, be aware that those shoulders are still facing me. Woohoo! This one is burning with a 15 pound dumbbell. How are you doing at home? <laughs> yeah, it's not time to question our life choices yet. But next round, finish it, it might be. <laughs> All right, feet, shoulder width or wider. If you have tight hips, a bit wider, just a bit might feel better. Get one or two dumbbells. We do the squat first. Let's take it low, okay? Push the booty rear, drive up through the heels, press up. Good, now we're gonna take a gaze at where the ceiling and the wall meet in your home. That's gonna help us with that neck alignment. Beautiful. Once again, we got room in the front of our foot. Okay, when we come down in that squat, we want the weight in the back. Perfect. Now, if you do have bare feet on, I mean, make sure that you're not letting those arches fall in. You fire up the hip muscles, you push the toe mound and the pinky toe into your mat and get those arches up, lifted in alignment. Excellent. Now on this one, dumbbell pickup, I'm going to add a toe tap in between. So I'm going to pick the dumbbell up, place it to the other side, and then tap my opposite toe. So let's try it. Here we go. Pick the dumbbell up, right arm. Good. Now push the hips back, right hand to left foot. Lower down. Now left hand, pick the dumbbell up. Now left hand to toe or knee, maybe, because you're on your knees doing this. Basically what we're doing is hanging out on that one arm posture for a little longer. So whatever hand picks the dumbbell up, that's the hand that comes and touches your back knee or back toe. A lot harder, isn't it? <laughs> You're welcome. All right, let's come on up. We know what we're doing now. We're pros. In fact, you're, you're so professional at this that you could be me right now teaching it. All right, me or me. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Give me that high pull. Good. Now come off of one leg for the bicep curl. Woo, spicy. High pull. One leg, bicep curl. And then we're gonna stay off that leg and step it out. Now, can we stay on the one leg for the high pull as well? That's a whole new ball game. So if you've got to keep the toe on the ground and then lift it for the curl, go for it. Foot flex, strong, good. Balance, stability, strength. Right here, this one move. Woo! <laughs> one more, come on crew, hop. Curl it. Yes. All right, so we're gonna start the first couple of reps, okay, with that foot on the ground when we do the high pull. And then we can progress if you wanna join me. Three, two, one, let's do the side lunge. Here we go, down. Toe on the ground, high pull. Now lift the knee, flex the foot. Give me the curl, step out. Toe tap, high pull. Lift the knee, curl. Now if you'd like, lift right up. Woo this is my goofy side. <laughs> this will be fun. It's okay, that's why we're doing this. We wanna work out the goofy side. So it's not so goofy. Time, Woo. All right, you. We're gonna take a little bit of rotation now with our squat and press. So it'll mean a little less drive with the legs to bring the dumbbell up. So here, join me. Let's go down the squat. Now, drive up, turn, pivot 
on one foot and press up into a diagonal. So we're turning through the hips because the body will work like that, right? When we're out there in real life doing what we love to do. But we do want to pick up that heel as we twist and turn through the hip. The knee joint doesn't like it if we twist and the heel stays planted. One more each side. Last one. Whew. All right, we got the dumbbell pickup. Now I'm gonna go right into that opposite toe tap as well, or knee tap maybe in your case, where you can say, screw it, PJ, I'm just doing the dumbbell pickup. Here we go, left side of the mat with the dumbbell. High plank for me, knees or toes. Pick the dumbbell up, right arm. Now right arm, pike up. Right hand to left toe. Lot of core strength here, crew. I'm proud of you, whether you're on your knees or your toes. It's not an easy move. Hang in there. Whew. And time. All right, this is it. Last round. Mirror me, please. We're on this side of our mat now. Outside hand has the dumbbell. Let's do the side lunge. Knee up if you like, high pull. <laughs> and then a bicep curl. So we're working on decelerating right there. Super important. We lose that ability as we age. Unless you play a lot of sport, at which point, bravo, you're working more than you think you are and helping yourself out more than you think you are. But we lose the ability to decelerate our bodies as well as our reaction time. So this helps. Finish it. Come on, finish. Nice job, you. All right, other side. There's so much great research coming out there with this type of training for those of us 60 and 70 years of age. Go. Super cool. So guess what? If we continue doing it or start doing it, we're just gonna reap the benefits the older we get. Woo, <laughs> oh, hello, goofy side. One more. Let's finish it. <laughs> I got overexcited there. All right, squat. We're gonna add that pivot, a little bit of a twist, working through the hips here, getting some mobility in addition to some strength. Feet shoulder width or wider. Let's go. Down, press. When we squat, that bum is going rearward. Just because we're changing the direction as we come up doesn't change the squat. So you know your basics, you know what you need to do. One more. All right, final exercise, final round. I'm gonna pick the dumbbell up and tap the dumbbell to my opposite toe. That's optional. 
We still go in high plank, knees or toes. Right hand picks up the dumbbell, places it down, and then pike the hips up. Right hand to left toe, and down. So now, when we come back, if you'd like, dumbbell to toe. But <laughs> it's hard, especially if you're using a heavier dumbbell. Plant it first, and then step the hand and dumbbell back. One more. Nicely done, you. Woo. All right. We're going to do a couple of stretches. I want to be mindful of the time, so grab a quick sip of water. Left knee on under the hip. Lunge forward. Tighten that left glute and lean back. Grab a sip if you need it before we add the arms. All right. Get into the hips from pretty much... 75% of what we did. <laughs> now inhale that left arm straight up and lean away. So we're trying to separate rib from hip. So if you're not part of Over 50 Fitness and you want access to the full challenge, it's a 31 day challenge. You start out with a fitness assessment and then you finish off with a fitness assessment. And we'll see how far you've come in those 31 days. It's at Over 50 Fitness. There's a link down below. Grab your 14 day trial if you haven't tried us out before. Here we go, circle the arm behind. Nice, straighten this front leg. Now if you'd like, grab one or two dumbbells, pop them up, or keep them low and just pop the ground up a little bit. But we want to stretch into the hamstring. We don't want to sit too much back on this heel. So you may need to kick this foot forward and then lead with the chest and come forward. I really love the ground built up for this one. Highly recommend, or maybe you've got yoga blocks close by. Now we're gonna stay here, and all I'd love for you to do is externally rotate this front leg here. So you're just gonna turn the toes out to your side, Woo. and then hinge forward a bit more if you can. Getting into the medial hamstring, so it's gonna be a different sensation. Now, those of you on Over 50 Fitness, make sure you go to our private community. Let us know what you thought of day one. <laughs> Just another 30 days to go. <laughs> All right, other side. That was super motivating, huh? <laughs> Here we go, step forward. Now tighten up the right glute. Inhale the right arm straight up. Rib away from hip, lean away. Such a lovely stretch, hitting many muscles from your psoas, side of body, lats. And then let's just work mobility of the shoulder a bit and this top arm, circle it behind the body. Super slow, super slow, nice and big. Nice, hands here. Let's kick that heel out again so we're not sitting back on the heel. Body weight over top of this front leg, push the hips rear. Find that stretch in the hamstring. Now turn the toes, externally rotate, Get a different stretch. And release, all right. Either sitting cross-legged or onto your heels. Just a quick stretch into the pecs. Interlace the hands, bring them behind the head. Let's allow those elbows to drop back while we lift the heart and the gaze to the ceiling. And release. Hey, thank you so much for joining me. Drop a comment down below. I look forward to reading it. Have a fantastic rest of your day and we'll see you next workout. Bye. Hey there, good looking. Join me for this amazing metabolic conditioning strength workout. We are going to hit and toast every single muscle in your body. Hi, Bella. <laughs> okay, Bells. That didn't work, Bella. 
If you want to work on the bottoms of your feet, strengthening them and really grounding yourself and feeling the ground underneath you, <laughs> oh boy.